there. Welcome to LifeLike's Dialysis Education Center. You're a new trainee and we've been expecting you. Hello, my name's Sebastian. I'm your preceptor and I'm really happy to meet you. This is Mr. James. He's our patient today. You're going to be assisting me as we do very important tasks to help our patient. Please wash your hands thoroughly with soap. Be sure to wash in between your fingers and under your nails. Please look to your left. This learning matrix is where we'll show you 3D models to help you learn about kidneys and dialysis. Please pass me the needle. Let's focus on the patient's hand. Blood starts to flow through the needle tubing to a bloodline tubing. Its first stop is at a sample port. Insert the needle-free tube into the sample port now. For blood to circulate continuously between the machine and the patient, a pump is required. It draws blood out from the patient through the arterial needle, pumps it to the dialyzer, and pushes it back to the patient in a closed circuit through the venous needle. At first glance, the dialyzer looks like a simple component of the dialysis machine, but appearances can be deceiving. Please touch now the dialyzer connected to the machine and you'll go inside it. Can you hear me? Excellent. You're now inside the dialyzer, safely within the protective capsule. What you see all around you are the dialyzer fibers. The walls are white and the surface looks smooth. The pores are randomly formed along the surface and vary somewhat in size. Dialysis solution, or dialysate, is a liquid drug that's adjusted to the individual patient's needs and distributed to a dialyzer. Its purpose is to take out excessive solutes from the bloodstream that were not removed by the kidneys. Let's return back now to finish the remaining parts of the extracorporeal circuit. Ah, there you are. You're doing a great job and we're almost at the end. Please look back at the dialysis machine. Once the blood leaves the venous header of the dialyzer, it enters the venous blood tubing. From this point, the blood goes through an other sample port and finishes its journey in the venous needle tubing. From there, the blood goes back to the patient's body. Wow, that's an amazing journey, isn't it? Your patient, James, will have to remain connected to the machine for a couple of hours so his blood is cleared as well as possible given time constraints. If you're up to a challenge, there's an assessment waiting for you or you can go through any part of the simulation again as many times as you want. You did excellent work helping care for your patient Thank you so much.